Howdy humans, I hope you're having a socially relevant day. We have a lot to get to today, so go ahead and click that subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, so this is going to be a part two to my let's decorate the house video. I got more of my Amazon items in and I picked up a few more things from Dollar Tree, so we're gonna go ahead and just put it all together and pray that it looks good. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the office slash guest room and I am lugging in our futon that we picked up from Ikea about three or four months ago. It was the first piece of furniture we bought. We just needed something to sit on and yeah, that was it. Now that we have our new couch, we're gonna go ahead and make this one for the guest room slash office. Right now I'm just laying down a rug I picked up at Marshalls, I wanna say it was Marshalls or Ross. It's a pretty nifty rug. I do like, well, before the pandemic started, I really enjoyed going to places like Marshalls and Ross and TJ Maxx and finding certain things. Okay, so now I'm just adjusting where the desk is in relation to the couch. And I picked up this, I wanna say it was a twin fitted sheet on Amazon. Um, the black is just a really big dirt, dust, and dog hair catcher, so I like to do light colored sheets or light colored fabrics in order to kind of hide that. So I just picked this up on Amazon. And Okay, and now we are in the living room. If you watched one of my Sundays in Austin videos, Mike and I went to Living Spaces. It's a habit I can't break. Um, we went to Living Spaces and we picked up the couch, one of the pillows, and the rug. Uh, the two end tables came from Amazon. I think they were about 28 bucks. And I also picked up this lovely ottoman. We've been needing a place to rest our feet for a while, so I thought a nice simple leather ottoman would just go nice. Um, we don't have a dining room table yet, so I picked up some really cool lunch trays and these, I wanna say they were like patio chair cushions, but I figured we could just use them as floor cushions. Okay, so the bedroom is last because I had to wash all of the sheets and pillowcases before I put them on the bed, along with the duvet cover, and that did take some time. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just finishing off stripping the bed. I will be using the duvet again. That came from Ikea, um, along with the two end tables that you see. The sheets, the pillowcases, the new duvet cover, all of that came from Amazon. And, oh, look at the dogs. <laughs> the um, orange and white rug that you see on the floor, if you can see that, that is actually the same rug as the um, office rug, just in a different color. Came from Ross or Marshalls. I still can't remember. <laughs> So now I'm gonna toss on the duvet cover. I absolutely love the colors and patterns in this duvet cover. I picked the duvet cover for the same reason that I picked that fitted sheet in the office. We have dogs, their hair sheds. When I choose darker fabrics, it tends to pick up the hair more. So I like the fact that this was a bright color. It had multiple patterns and it would kind of not show as much dog hair. <laughs> I then went with some orange pillowcases because they played off the orange in the um, duvet cover along with the dark blue ones and the ones it came with. Thank you. 
So here are these great woven rugs and multicolors that I found on Amazon as well. Mike really didn't like the fact that the floors were bare under his feet. So I found like these really cool, I think they're two by three inch rugs on Amazon. They've got this woven material. And then I just purchased some, um, they're called like runner pads, I guess, or runner grip underneath of them. They're really cool. I love the pattern. It plays into all the multicolors in the bed. So I think they'll do really well. And for a finishing touch, I picked up this gorgeous dream catcher on Amazon. I really didn't like that the center wall was so empty and boring. As you can see, I hung planted pots from each side of the wall, but I wanted something in the middle for symmetry, so I thought this would be a cute addition, and I really liked it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. All right, and last but not least is this really neat dream catcher I ordered on Amazon. I've already got a hook for it. It's actually my last command hook, also ordered on Amazon about five or six months ago. But I found the dream catcher online, and I really like the design and the color. And I wanted to put something dead center of the bedroom, but didn't want it to be super heavy or too distracting because we do have hanging plants, we do have an art wall, so there's a lot going on in this room. And that's it. Living room, bedroom, and office done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about my decorations, and I'll see you guys next time.